Good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is one of my favorite times of year in the greenhouse. It is Oncidium Sherry Baby time. And I just brought this guy out for a little bit of maintenance. And thought I would um, bring you guys along for a little bit of maintenance as well. So it smells absolutely amazing. So if you haven't seen my videos or don't know Sherry Baby, Sherry Baby is this amazing orchid that just smells like chocolate and when it's humid in the greenhouse and especially when the sun comes out and hits this the whole greenhouse just smells like this sweet sweet chocolate it's just amazing so we did have a bit of a disaster this year on this guy but um you can't win them all i guess we have one lovely big spike here and then if you come around this pot it's definitely due for a repotting but we're not going to do that today this plant has actually divided itself into three plants in here so this plant here which we've seen is in nice bloom and then i didn't notice until just today this spike here got caught under the light you can see it's blooming but it's like got frozen in time under the light and is like yellow and and cooked basically it went right up under one of the fluorescent lights and was just like sitting there touching it and I didn't notice it. So yeah, that kind of um, is a bummer. But I did see over here, we have a new spike from this year on the third plant, we'll call it. Like I say, it's all one plant, but it's just sort of gone three different ways in here. As for care for Sherry Babies, and most of these um, Oncidium types with the similar looking bulbs like this, we're just coming out of summertime so it grows on the warm side of the greenhouse and it's quite lovely and humid and warm over there daytime highs are around 85 degrees or that's about 27 28 celsius nighttime lows are around 20 degrees which is like 72 fahrenheit and it it just sort of has its seasons but you know what i think brings this guy into bloom is going to be not so much the temperatures it's the light because for many years i grew on sidium sherry baby cool as well and it did just fine it bloomed every year whether it's cool or warm it's just one of those great um plants that just is basically unstoppable as long as i think you have some humidity and some some temperature changes so i think to get this guy to bloom properly it's um it's going to be mainly some light. I always thought that um, Oncidiums needed temperature change. Now, it could just be the fact that it's going from warm to cold daytime highs. And in the one side of the greenhouse, it's just hot to warm. And in the other side of the greenhouse where I grew it cool, it was just warm to cool every night. But either way, it does have a 10 degree swing in temperature. And But I think it knows it always blooms in September. So it's not just about the temperature swings because there's always temperature swings for the sky but um it always blooms in september when the light is starting to diminish after a nice bright summer so this guy here i do let him get dry before i rewater him he's planted in a moss mixture because i don't rewater him as often as i should and you can see these wrinkled bulbs here and in this case it is purely just due to um a little bit too little water this summer it's just been a little bit too hot in there some bulbs are still nice and swollen like this guy but um others are not quite so um swollen so you know what you could do with this and i have done it pretty successfully as long as you don't forget about it is you just sit this guy in a bowl of water for about 24 hours and let him re-soak and then allow him to go um, back to your regular watering schedule. And that 24 hour soak will, um, you'll actually see noticeable difference in the hydration of the bulbs. And it's, it's mainly this side. Even the new bulb over there where the spike is just coming out is looking pretty good. But yeah, um, otherwise there's, I see nice fresh roots coming out of everywhere. Look at this, the roots are go, they go up, not down. So that one's coming from the, the base but then growing up the side of the sheath and and out these things here they're called sheath they're from the old bulbs and i do like to i'm a picker I, i'm an orchid picker so when i get one of these plants out i start to pick off the old sheaths and if you wait long enough they basically just pull off especially if you just watered them they kind of go a little bit soft and 
if there was any bugs, if you pull down a sheath, that's where you're going to find bugs. So I'm very happy that I'm not discovering mealy bugs or anything with you. Um, I don't really have many issues in the greenhouse here for anything like that, which so I'm, I'm lucky and blessed. But um, if you were to have issues with bugs, that's where they're going to be hiding is down there. So anyways, what else can I tell you about this? As for light, I do give it some pretty bright light. Um, it's definitely not shaded. It's, it's in quite a sunny spot. The leaves are just starting to go a little bit of a pale yellow or a pale green. Um, but not super green or not super yellow. The newest ones are, are quite a nice green still. So yeah, I think we covered most of it. Gosh, it's due for a repot. Look at this, it's just like climbing out of the pot. The good thing about um, having high humidity in the greenhouse is you, the media is really just there for um, for the purpose of holding the plant in place. Like You can always check the roots and the root health on my plants just by um, looking at them. And I, get, I can see some nice new growth coming out. Sometimes they'll get cooked in the summer sun like this one did. I don't know if we're going to be able to zoom in on that properly. See how it's cooked? The tip is gone. But look, now that's starting to cool down, there's a new... Um, growth tip coming out just about a centimeter or half an inch above so just because we lost the tip doesn't mean all is all is over and that goes for um, any of these sort of oncidiums or a lot of orchids if you lose the tip it, it might just start a new tip somewhere a little bit further up but anyways that is just a quick little um, video on oncidium sherry baby and my care for it I think after the camera is off I'm going to take this old spike here that I'm wiggling and cut that off because it's kind of unsightly and then i'm going to wait until the winter time and then i think it'll be time to repot this guy into th probably three different pots so anyways i hope you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching